Well, tomorrow, the president and first lady will visit the site of the partial condo building collapse in Surfside nearly one week ago. Well, right now, we can tell you the death toll stands at 12. Nearly 150 people are still unaccounted for. And that is why crews are working just around the clock to try to find any survivors they can. Knowing even though it's a slim chance, they still hold hope. Central Florida's Task Force 4 is among those assisting the efforts. And Amanda McKenzie joins us live from Seminole County Fire Rescue. Amanda, more than three million and pounds of concrete have already been removed since Thursday. That's right, and of that debris, the officials say any personal items like photographs that are found are handed over to a special team to preserve for those families. Now, if you take a look at these photographs taken from yesterday by the Miami-Dade Fire Rescue, it shows the meticulous and detailed job of carefully removing that debris. Officials say combined rescue teams have logged more than 22,000 hours. It is the first time in Florida's history that all eight urban search and rescue teams have been deployed outside of a hurricane response. Governor Ron DeSantis, a Navy veteran, evoked a well-known military commitment at the site of the search that no one will be left behind. And the way I look at it as, a, as an old Navy guy is, you know, when somebody's missing an action in the military, you're missing until you're found. And we don't stop the search. While teams continue to work night and day, Florida authorities are asking the federal government for an additional rescue team to comb the rubble of the collapsed condo tower. Florida Emergency Management says the possibility of severe weather in the coming days could impact the mission. Authorities are still calling it a search and rescue operation, yet no one has been found alive since hours after the collapse on Thursday. Now, happening tomorrow, President Joe Biden and First Lady Jill Biden will be visiting the site of the Surfside condos to visit with the, mission, the rescue mission teams and the grieving families. Reporting live in Seminole County, Amanda McKenzie, Fox 35 News.